It's an early week edition of Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford here from Oxnard, California, alongside Rob Phillips of Kyle Yeomans. And Rob, we had a great weekend out here on the West Coast. Great crowds on hand every practice along the way. Five practices in the last six days. Now the stands are a bit empty and the field is empty as well. But there's a lot of football on the horizon. Absolutely. Preseason getting started, and we're seeing some nice competition between the offense and the defense. Dak Prescott, to this point, still not back into throwing drills, but we're seeing the backup quarterbacks pick it up with some, some balls down the field and some connections with their wide receivers. It's been more of a 50-50 split, I think, between the offense and defense the last couple days. And Mike McCarthy wants to see that because he's when the defense dominates, he's only, yeah, I'm 50% happy with that, <laughs> but he wants better competition. He's getting it. You want it closer to 50-50 than it is a dominant one way or the other. The defense was dominant toward the, the latter parts of last week, and one of the big reasons for that has been the emergence of rookie first-rounder Micah Parsons. What have been your first impressions of what Parsons has to offer just that he's absolutely everywhere on the field <laughs> I mean they the Cowboys want to put a lot on his plate early because they think he can handle it and defensive coordinator Dan Quinn has seen that from Micah Parsons Mike McCarthy did say at one point early in camp maybe we put a little bit too much on him but I don't think overall they feel that way you're seeing him all over the field he's been an off the ball linebacker he's been dropping back in coverage he's been rushing the passer uh, he's lined up inside outside that's the kind of versatility they saw when he was drafted out of Penn State, and they think he can be a huge impact player for them early. Where do you feel like his, and you talked about the impact he can make early, but where do you feel like his best spot is in that linebacker rotation? Where does it fit his strengths the most? Well, I, I think he's got uh, skills that fit the middle linebacker position, but I do think his versatility, as we spoke about, his ability to rush the passer and blitz will allow the Cowboys maybe to distribute some of those snaps that we're wondering about, you know, because you have Leighton Van Der Esch, you have Jalen Smith. Micah Parsons can can play with both guys, even, if, you know, and create those three linebacker sets if that's what they want to do because he can do so many different things and they can move him around. And I do think he can contribute on special teams as well if they want to put the rookie back there too. Hey, John Fossil certainly smiling ear to ear <laughs> thinking about the, the idea of putting Micah Parsons out on special teams. But what about some of these other young players? We haven't talked a lot about Tyler Biotish. How can he take his second year jump? We'll answer that question next here on Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford. Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford is brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford, built for Texas, built for you. This segment is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. So we've now done two weeks of inside Cowboys training camp driven by Ford, and we have talked a lot about the center position, but we haven't really talked about the starting center <laughs> on that offensive line for the Dallas Cowboys. Tyler Biotish entering year number two after being drafted in the fourth round out of Wisconsin last year. What have been some of your observations of what he has brought to this offensive line? Well, I think the biggest thing for Tyler is his command pre-snap because he's got to be the quarterback at the line of scrimmage in terms of helping the quarterback make the calls, the adjustments uh, pre-snap to make sure they're in the right blocking assignments. And I think last year, I asked Mike McCarthy about it at the press conference the other day, and he said, you know, first rookie camp for him coming in because of the COVID pandemic, there was no preseason for him. It was a shortened training camp. And for a rookie coming in, having to have that responsibility, that's tough. He sees more command from Biotis early, and that's important. And it doesn't help, you know, it doesn't hurt that he's got some veteran guys on that offensive line that can help him along. When you got Connor Williams to your left, you've got Zach Martin to your right, you're going to have a little bit of success, I think, working through some of those cadences and some of the calls along the way. But Tyler, what exactly have you learned throughout your first full offseason in the NFL? Our audio presented by Sleep Number. I'd say a lot more comfortable. I think it's a, uh, you know, it's very. Uh, uh, more, more assertiveness, more, more confidence. Um, definitely, um, you know, know the system a lot more and uh, better than did last year. I think it was, you know, you you, you have you have different uh, specific things, and you know, some some of it was, you know, snaps or the speed of snaps, or just being on the same communication, and that's what it comes down to is just being on the same page and um, just doing your job to the best of your ability. 
So obviously, Tyler Bionish, very excited about the possibilities that he has heading into year number two. But I, I want to ask you, Rob, what is his ceiling as the starting center? Of course, he replaced Tyler Frederick. He's the guy after the guy with split time with Joe Looney last year. Can he step in and really take this center spot to the next level? Well, the Cowboys are expecting that. You know, they didn't re-sign Joe Looney in the offseason and reports that Looney was headed to the Giants a couple days ago. They're counting on Tyler Biotis to be that guy in the middle, and they felt like he was great value in the draft. And I, again, with the experience he's getting in this camp, they think he can be the starter and be productive. He's got size, he's got strength, he's athletic for the position. And again, he's got more command making those calls at the line of scrimmage. I think they're excited about him, uh, but it's gonna take you know some time to get ready. He missed some, some time last year with kind of a freak injury in warmups against the Steelers last year. Didn't play as much as they would like but they like him a lot. Talking about the Steelers, we're going to see a little bit of the backup center spot during the Hall of Fame game coming up on Thursday. Who do you expect to take the majority of the reps at that spot? Well, it'll be interesting. I mean, he's a young player. In fact, he told me that, that he, he still talks to Travis Frederick, getting some advice. You know, the former Cowboy center, former Wisconsin Badger as well. Mm -hmm. I would expect him maybe to get some reps because he is a young player, needs the reps, needs to play. That's what Mike McCarthy said. Connor Williams, though, he's a vet at that left guard position, but they've been working him at center as a potential backup there. So it's possible that he could get some reps there. Also, Matt Farniak, who they drafted, uh, the rookie could get some, some time at center, too. I think there's a lot of questions around the backup center spot, but at least Tyler Biotish, at least as the starter, has really settled the minds of these coaching staffs and, and, and of course, the front office as well. But how has the corner spot improved? We're going to talk about that when we come back with more Inside Cowboys training camp from Oxnard. This segment was brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Final couple minutes here of Inside Cowboys Training Camp, driven by Ford. Rob Phillips, Kyle Yeomans from DallasCowboys.com. And Rob, the cornerback position has been a hot topic throughout the course of training camp, and it's a lot of a lot of the reason around that is the fact that they've seen some improvement. What has been the biggest boost to the confidence of that entire unit? I think it's more experience. I think Trayvon Diggs is, is a projected starter based on his rookie season last year, as well as just his talent level. I mean, he's out there competing with CeeDee Lamb every day and making it tough on him, which is not an easy task because CeeDee Lamb has been dominant in these practices. I think it starts with Trayvon Diggs, but I think some other guys are stepping up. You know, you, you talk about Kelvin Joseph, the second round draft pick, who's missed a little time in the off season, but you see his talent level. You see his competitive nature and Maurice Kennedy as well, a veteran guy that opted out of last season, has come in and, and, and consistently made plays in these practices. Suddenly you're looking at this cornerback depth, and I know it's only a few padded practices in, but saying there's some depth here. And as we move into preseason, it's going to be interesting to see how the depth chart shakes out. Well, let's see how it shakes out. Right now I'm going to put Already? you in the GM shoes. We've got a long way to go until the season, but how would you rank these corners right now? Well, again, I think Trayvon Diggs is a starter. I think Anthony Brown's experience, and he's having a nice start to camp. Uh, you put him in that mix as well. Kelvin Joseph's going to push to play early. Uh, that, that's going to be interesting to see how he progresses in preseason with some more reps. And then Jordan Lewis was re-signed for a reason because he can play inside, he can play outside. It's, it's a solid group there. And then watch for Kennedy because he's one of the biggest uh, producers so far in these practices. He's been producing on the defensive side of things, but he's also been a notable special teams addition as well, along with guys like C.J. Goodwin and such. I think Marquise Kennedy, Wright. Nashawn Wright, I think, yep. in that mix as well. The cornerback room is about as depth or deep as really you and, and we talked about Mickey Spagnola about it as well. It's been very deep. That's going to do it for us here on Inside Cowboys Training Camp, driven by Ford for Rob Phillips. I'm Kyle Yeomans. We'll see you next time for Boxnow. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford, was brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford, built for Texas, built for you.